Hey, what's going on, people? Barry Hance again, back with that another tournament video. This time it is a semi-final versus Yoga Bonito, and this is the close-up match, uh, the third map against him. Um, we won the first two. Um, the first one was Fort TDM and London Underground OBJ, and we were coming into this match uh, with 2-0 map advantage. And unfortunately, we didn't have cinema space. I know it sounds really unprofessional, um, but we thought one of us I thought um, rest of the members saved it they thought I saved it uh, a little bit of mixed communication so um, I apologize for that but um, we do have the third and the final wrap-up game against him so hopefully this uh, will make up for it and but don't worry for the finals against uh, Ares which just took place yesterday a lot of you guys know what happened in the finals a lot of you do not so if you guys don't know what happened I'm not gonna spoil it for you but I do guarantee I, we, um, I will upload all the matches that we won and lost um, versus Ares on my channel and there's a little bit of uh, poll I guess I mean I have a question for you guys would you like me to commentate on the finals like I usually do like I'm doing right now um, and shoutcast the finals because we are definitely shoutcasting the finals it's gonna be from both te uh, teams p uh, point of views but the commentary that I do is only gonna be from our teams point of view so just let me know in the comments below I honestly would prefer to do it both ways like shoutcast is for um, to hype everything up and like the the commentary is kind of like explaining what I did why I did or what my teammates were doing what the tactic was so yeah just drop a drop a comment just let me know so I can uh, so I know what to do for you guys so um back onto the match these were actually really sweaty games I mean we were trying really really hard because we didn't really want to take them lightly because they did make it to semifinals so we were all trying so hard like <laughs> you guys don't understand it was really sweaty I mean you guys can see this is like back in frag nation season one season two camp and style going on because the stakes were so high at semifinals um, obviously they are going into this match is two maps behind so didn't really want to push and die and give us a free kill at this moment so um, you guys can see at this point we're just like kind of kind of just controlling the map so we know um, where exactly they are we don't know where they are right now but I do know where one of them is so that's why I called Cobra over to help because controlling this spot and the hammer spot is the is the key to win um, any TDM on Plaza so as you guys know the hammer and well all the power weapons are gonna spawn in about 40 seconds which is why you're gonna see a lot of movement um, happening right about this point you're gonna see Joga Bonito players trying to move around trying to get map control again and then we obviously want hammer as well so we're gonna slowly trying to move over that side you guys can see it's been really slow start and chart is just like watching one guy and I'm watching one guy what he's doing he's probably gonna go up the balcony he is and at that point I'm gonna let Cobra know um, what's up and I honestly can't remember what happens exactly so I'm gonna kinda sh uh, okay so he came down to the deagle uh, shooting Cobra in the back and I should be able to take him out and I don't know how that thing knocked me down that was a missed hammer shot right there, but I was actually surprised that he actually stayed there to challenge me. Um, even though I had a hammer, so that's... Uh, I mean, he was screwed either way because I had a hammer. I, w I would have wasted all four hammer shots just to get the kill. <laughs> um, never be too generous. If it takes you to, if it takes you the whole clip to kill him, use the whole clip. Like, don't be too generous. So, as you guys can see, they do have hammer control at this point, but they haven't picked up the hammer because we have been watching it, and there's only one guy by the hammer, I think, and I'm just going to get aggressive on it, pick it up. Um, go behind cover, but there are a few people shooting at me, so I quickly switch it in case I die. And I don't know where that grenade came from, how it knocked me down. Um, but it did <laughs> did not kill me, and you guys can see they did spawn blue and pack 80, so um, the whole rotation starts one more time. Um, because I have a hammer, I'm just kind of playing it too cautiously, and my team just wipes the, all of them out, so that was a really good start. We got off to a really good start in 4 TDM as well. I mean, I think the score after first five minutes was 12 and 3. So I managed to kill one guy out in the pack 80, and now I only have, I think, one more shot. And as you guys can see, we're completely dominating them at this point because we have the map control, we have the power weapons, and we were just up for this game. I mean, we, we all were really hyped. We all really wanted to be in the finals face Ares because at this point we already knew that Ares already won their final against Quad, so this was the last match going into the day so um, <clears throat> we were trying really hard and um, no awareness on their part I mean I don't think he even saw me until I until he got hit and I was just like flying over him um, managed to pick that kill up and there's one more guy around me I don't have a I don't have a long gun so I'm just gonna try to run around trying to find one for myself 
Um, they are spawning hammer, and unfortunately this guy spawned right on my flank, and I there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so we're gonna quickly switch over to Cobra, I believe this is. Yeah, we're gonna switch over to Cobra and see uh, see what he can do. Um, again, they're really slow-paced games. We are winning 16 to 6. There's only six minutes gone, and we have control of all the power weapons. These guys can do. Me and Cobra are trying to push around. And we do find the flanker, which I, uh, which I thought they would be, they would have. Um, so we clear him out. Now we're gonna go back to the middle map, trying to control the map again. Uh, there's two people in front of Cobra, so I'm kind of uh, trying to provide them some protection. And I don't think they're gonna challenge. So again, as you guys can see, all the positioning, it's, it's, um, we're not just randomly hiding behind corners, um, waiting for them to pass by. We're actually um, controlling the mid map, all the power weapon spawns. Even though we don't have the hammer spawn right now, but we honestly don't need to because we have a such a solid lead but again if the hammer does spawn we are gonna push for it I believe um, it's you, I mean if you're playing against a good team you can't have a hammer and the deagle spawn at the same time because um, if a team knows what they're doing there's no way you can do that and me and Cobra are kinda watching the hammer spawn I think there is a guy over there nice grenade by Croatia he kills the hammer guy I believe there's only one more guy over there and uh, Cobra should be able to take him out he was a little bit weak, and there you have it. Cobra takes him out as well, so I don't think they have hammer at this point. There's one more, and Croatia should be able to kill him. Cobra gets the kill. Good plays on his part, and there's one guy pushing Mag from the mid. I think they should be able to clear him out as well, because even though he does get a kill, we have at least two, three people over that side. You can easily trade it and chart it with that shotgun, just <laughs> just being just terrorizing him. Um, let's take, quickly take a look at the score. Um, as you guys can see, uh, we haven't really died at all. That's what our main focus was going into this match. I mean, Plaza is one that kind of map where you, if you play really aggressive and really fast-paced, um, it's so hard to like slow the match down again because uh, it's so fast-paced this map. Um, so we decided to take a different approach to it, and Uncharted misses every single one of his deagle shots, <laughs> uncharacteristically. But I was back there, luckily, to clear it out for him, uh, bail him out. And 26 to 9, I mean, at this point, winning 2-0, you can only imagine the pressure the other team is under. Um, one of them lost for, I think, is having a really bad game. Um, you can't get anything going on for him. As you guys can kill our, uh, if you guys can see our scores, it's all pretty evenly spread out. I mean, like I said, we're basically we're trying not to die instead of like trying to get kills. And nice thing about Charlie, even though the guy was weak, he had to do his part. We have three people towards the hammer side, and I believe Uncharted is about to get pushed from behind because that's what all the good teams do. They distract you and then just, just I should, no, actually there's, they have like two people by the shotgun, and they should all be cleaned out. I mean, uh, Croatia gets one, there's still one more alive. Uh, Uncharted is going to try to watch his flank real fast and see what's going on. Quickly going back up top so you can, uh, and Croatia and Cobra are, and especially Croatia and Uncharted were playing so aggressive this match. Me and Croatia were, uh, me and Cobra were kind of playing a bit passive, trying to control the map, um, control the positions we have. Like as you can see, they can't, they can't do anything. They're just basically spawn trapped in their base. Uh, if you guys can see, we're all pushed up. Uh, we do have Cobra all the way in the back in case one of them spawns behind us, which I think they do, which is why Uncharted is moving over to help them. Um, there is one guy by Uncharted, and he should be easily able to take him out, which he does. And 33 to 10. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that because it was Joga Bonito's first semifinal in their. I think it was the first time they made it to semifinals um, <clears throat> in their in their history. I would say if, if that's if that's the word I can use. And you guys can see the nerves did kind of play a part. They were kind of nervous. They were playing a really passive. They didn't really want to rush too much and play their normal game. But I think part of it goes to when Croatia was trying to chase that kill so hard, even though he knew he was gonna die. Um, <laughs> and like I was saying, uh, even though um, it's the semifinals for them, we've been we've been in, we've been in the tournaments past, so we don't rather, uh, we don't we c we're kind of used to the pressure. But uh, you can see the pressure really got to them, the way they were playing. And nice cover by Uncharted. I mean, you guys can see we all had each other's backs. I mean, uh, this was like a textbook TDM art display. Uh, being one of our strongest game modes, we did kind of make a statement in the semifinals that we are <clears throat> going into the finals with full momentum and expecting a win so um, score 38 to 14 five minutes left I mean at this point they're just basically playing for pride um, trying to get as many kills as possible I mean if you just lay over and just give the win to the other team it's just pathetic but it's nice to see that they actually stayed and none of them well I shouldn't say none of them but um, 
the majority of the team didn't rage quit, so. Um, good games to Joga Bonito as well for providing us uh, with a good match. And actually, since the next place by Simprox uh, caught us off guard, and there should be one more by Croatia. And Croatia manages to kill him out, so score is 40 to 16, about 4 minutes left. Uh, one of them has a hammer because at this point we didn't really. Um, because at this point, and I don't know how he did not kill anyone with the hammer. <laughs> Again, the nerves are kicking in. Um, you wouldn't basically shoot a hammer like that if if you weren't nervous. I mean, you just you just basically jump away and the the game auto aims the hammer for you, and it's pretty accurate as well. So um, we kind of played with their confidence in this match. I mean, as soon as we saw like they're kind of playing passive, they're not pushing. We decided to be really aggressive and push them and see if they can. Uh, how they retaliated. There's two people in front of Croatia and I killed both of them. Um, and Croatia is just laughing at this point and Lost for it's kind of rage quits. Um, which was really sad to see. I mean, if just enjoy the moment. I mean, I know it's not it's not easy to enjoy the moment when you're just getting smashed, but it's the semi-finals. Um, the most you've ever made far in any tournament, so might as well just play, see out the game. Try to get a few more kills instead of just rage quitting because it's just really doesn't look good. And you guys already know that I'm not really a big fan of rage quitting either. And at this point, we were just trying to have some fun. I mean, <laughs> only one kill, one or two kills left. Scores 49 to 17 now. And oh man, Croatia just gets a nasty turn on, but he did not kill him. <laughs> Uncharted Cobra gets the final kill, and there you guys have it. That's the final score. If you, I mean, you guys take a look at our assists. We had more assists than the whole teams combined. They had kills, so um, I think we proved uh, um, we proved that we were a really big threat, a good force going into the finals, and this was the best possible way for us to have momentum on our side when we play Ares in the finals. And um, again, sorry guys if I. Uh, for not having the cinemas of uh, 4 TDM in London Underground. But I do promise you uh, a lot more coming up for the finals. So if you guys did enjoy the video, just leave a comment, um, like the video, and I will see you guys soon with the grand finales. Until then, thank you for tuning in, and peace.